Hi and welcome. This video is going to be about UCCX. We're going to talk about the preparation of CUCM, creating the devices and assigning the lines and the IPCC extensions. We're going to talk about CTI ports, CTI route points. And we're also going to talk about creating the an auto tenant application. Okay, so in our last video, we saw we configure the integration between call manager and unity connection and now what i'm gonna do and what i want to work on is to go more advanced and more into the configuration of a of a regular uccx script why will we use uccx and the few things that as options that we have in uccx so just to give you a little reminder, I'm still running the the evaluation version, and I still have like 24 days. And I also want to go ahead and remove this, and I want to go to call manager. Now here is what we want to do. So we want to open up a notepad and we do have five phones that we have registered, actually five to seven phones that we have registered to use this to call manager. So we're going to say that we have, in this case, we have one agent. You know what, let's make it two agents. Two agents and one supervisor. And the UCCX version that we're working on, it's 10.6. And it's 10.6 SU2, okay. Now the idea is to create an auto attendant That it's gonna it's gonna provide a, a a recording with information to to for the user to be able to select which department they want to go to. Okay, so we're gonna create the auto attendant. We're gonna have three different departments that we're gonna route calls to. Two departments. We're gonna have one queue. Hopefully I spelled that right. Okay, so we're gonna start from that basic information right there. And I'd like to put my call manager on this side. So in the previous video, oh my God, this is not gonna be fun. In the previous video, <coughs> we went through the integration. And hopefully I can do this quick enough so that I can show you what are we going to do. So we completed the integration and then we came here to system uh, unified communications parameter configuration and then we used uh, administration account as the axle service provider and a production environment you want to change this and create a, a dedicated account that has axle services or enable and then we create this from UCCX, the JTAPI user, and the RMCM user. Okay. So now we, we have the integration completed. Hopefully it's still working. And we're going to test that out shortly.
Now we also have a few phones that are already registered into the system. We have one that is not registered. And I don't know why, but we're gonna just take three of this of these phones. We're gonna use the 16, 7965s. Okay, so let's do this. Let's make this agent one. Let's make this guy agent two. And we're going to make the other 7965 agent uh, CCX supervisor one. Now the next thing that we want to do, and this is this was just to identify our phones or the phones that we're going to be using. And what I like to do is just come here and say, just show me whatever it's going to be assigned to UCCX. We're gonna create new users. Creating users is very easy. I'm not gonna go, I'm just gonna do the first one, pause the video and then you will see the other two. This is gonna be agent one. Password, you can put whatever password you see fit. <coughs> Last name. Agent CCX Also what I like doing is Assigning the standard CCM end users and the CTI enable In another video, I'm going to show you how to make this automatically and I want to assign a phone for agent one and that's pretty much the creation of that user we're gonna go ahead and use the same extension for UCCX Okay, now we have one user. User has a control device. It has a primary extension and an IPCC extension. This is how UCCX used to be called way back. And this right here are the groups assigned to that user. So I'm gonna pause the video, do the other two, and then we're gonna continue with it. Okay, so now we have created all the three users, agent one, agent two, supervisor, and they already have phones assigned to them. Now, we're gonna go ahead and create our first application. And it's gonna be a Cisco script application. We're gonna call it uh, main AA. We're gonna allow five sessions script what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the AA script and then we're gonna be able to take a look at what we have here and this we're gonna um, we're gonna create one from from scratch but first let's do this let's add it we're gonna add a new trigger. And then we're gonna have an issue here. Before we do this, we have to go and create a call control group. This is gonna be a CTI port. 
that are going to be created in, co in call manager. And they're going to show up here as part of the, f of the devices. So the CTI ports are the ones in charge of receiving the calls and sending them to, to the agents for to be able to create the connection between the auto attendant and, and the person that it's calling. So for this, I want to create a simple one. This is going to be UCC exports. Number of ports, I want to make it five. No media termination. I like to put UCCX as the device prefix. Now, starting directory number. It's always important to have in Call Manager a spreadsheet with all the available numbers that you're going to use. And it's important to have like a plan in order to create an implementation. So at this point, um, this, is, this is basically one of the things that I do. So I'm using the extensions for the phones as uh, 2000. So I like to create a different number for those extension instead of the extensions for the CTI ports. So I'm gonna use 2100. Okay, so 2100. Device pool is gonna be the default. Everything's gonna be default because we don't have anything created here. We're going to say add. Now what's happening here is that it's creating those CTI ports in call manager. So if we come back here to call manager, we're going to see the CTI ports from 2100 all the way to 2103. Perfect. So let's go back to our application. let's go back and say add a trigger now trigger is another number that is created here from uccx but then it gets created it creates a cti route point in call manager so that's the main number or the number that we're going to use to route the calls to or the number that the people is going to enter so the same thing that we have with uh, in the route plan report with the extensions we know that our ports are from 2100 all the way up to 2104 so what i like doing in this case is creating another range for my cti route points this one doesn't have to be you don't have to do the same thing but yeah it's my own best practices so that I don't go crazy. So if I know that my con contact center is not gonna grow over, I mean, I'm not gonna need more ports than what I have right now, I'll probably do 2105. But in this case, I wanna do 2200 as the CTI port. Language, we're gonna use the system default. And this is going to be main AA description, main AA. And the call control group, it's going to be UCC exports too. If you want more information here, uh, to enter more information as the, the partition, the calling search base, and all those good things that you should in a production environment implement, then you will just enter them here. Okay, so we have our application with a trigger number. And now if everything is correct, we should be able to hear something here. Now, one more thing that I want to do with those phones that we have is that they are right now in a, they were auto registered. So I need to modify something real quick. And I just want to mess around with the ones that start with UCCX.
You know what? I'm gonna have to do all of them. My naming convention didn't work. But that's fine. So we're gonna go to the idle link, select it, and just leave it empty. You want to run this job immediately. Now the fonts are gonna restart and re-register again, hopefully. Now very quickly, I wanna show you what do we have. So we created the uh, UCC exports on the UCCX server. We also created the CTI route point from the UCCX server. And so in from UCCX we also created a call control group which created the UCC exports that we see here on <coughs> the devices side. And here under the application, we assign this application the 2200 number. We assign the script that comes with one of the scripts that comes with UCCX. And this is going to be just so we can test it out. And now we're going to go ahead and test it out. So here's the phone. Welcome to the automated attendant. To enter the phone number of the person you're trying to read. So that's just to verify and make sure that we have a working configuration. So thanks for watching the video. We're going to go next one is that we're gonna go a little bit deeper on the configuration.